good day everybody today I have a very interesting video of someone who works as a trustee her name is Susan Buchanan and she I guess goes on some tirade on two of the people who work on the trustee board about how their opinions don't matter because they've never lived in an oppressed system so shut up pretty much she just pretty much screams be quiet be quiet to both of them right across the room which is incredible disrespect and I would think a type of oppression an oppression of their particular opinions because it doesn't seem to matter what their opinion is because they happen to be white males which is backwards when it comes to democracy but just watch yeah I I, I don't want to hear what you have to say oh my gosh <laughs> Come I'm on. serious. Susan, Jim, why do you have on. an opinion oh, on this? Come on, Susan. Susan, this is... I won't say a word. That's, that's why I like to... You shouldn't have an opinion on I that. Met this with, is yes, I met with constituents of color, yes. and quite honestly, on some of the feedback was that some of this wording was ridiculous. No. Birth. You have been white from birth. Why are you arguing what is a system of oppression? You've never experienced one! Mm -hmm. okay. So shut up! So shut up! Oh. I don't want to hear from you! Okay. Just stop! Just stop, Dan. Stop, Dino. You are not oppressed. And I'm, people in Oak Park are. And we are trying to recognize that as a community. Mm -hmm. This mayor and this board is obviously not willing to face history. We have a chance to make history. It is time for this community mm -hmm. um, to face equity enough. And you stop it. You are a white male. I, you true. stop it. You are a white male. Your skin stop. is white enough. You are a white male. Your skin stop. is white enough. I'm not, stop it. I gotta look. I think if we um, reduce these conversations to nobody cares what you have to say because you're a white male I, I I don't think we're doing this right I mean I can't imagine someone who is more out of touch with what an oppressed person really is and I'm sorry if someone has the right skin color because of what somebody else might have done over the course of many years that doesn't give her the right to look over and say you don't understand what they're going through because you've never been oppressed well if i don't understand what they've been through how the hell are you able to understand what i've been through especially as a white male and i don't care what everybody says just because somehow my skin happens to be white everything turns out perfectly people who just enjoy dumping shit all over white people i mean there's all kinds of schools that are having all kinds of little little groups that they'll they'll uh not include white people because of this reason or that reason or someone will post something on their on their their instagram page which will give them every right to to you know kick out white people from any fucking conversations that may be had about you know discrimination about anything about that when you're discriminating against the very people you're supposedly talking about who are discriminating this is a person who will look one of her colleagues right in the face and tell them your opinion doesn't matter because I think you grew up privileged but privilege means everything was handed to you and last I looked on the pages where these people have their um, there's like a page where you can see the trustees and, you know, where they grew up and went to school. And, I mean, I don't know about any other white people, but when I went to school, I memorized things by reading them over and over and over again. And then writing them out and reading them. And I had to memorize the same way everybody else does. By reading something a lot. There's no, like, white skin activate and all of a sudden I'm memorizing a fucking textbook. I mean, we all go through the same crap when we go to school, and all I see is people who went to school for different, you know, different courses, different degrees, different whatever. But all of those people deserve the seat that they're sitting in and deserve the electoral voice that they have. 
but somehow because they're white males, and speaking as a white woman too, which is, I just, I can't stand when I hear white people start talking about other white people. I mean, really? You know, you remind me of that guy that was in Schindler's List. He was the guy with the little paper star on his, ch on his chest, and he thought that because he was, you know, on the right side of things, people will be nicer to him. But they're just saving those people for last. They're the dumb ones that think that they're on the side of, of, you know, people who actually give a shit. But let's be honest, they're just saving you for last. So stop talking about white people when you are white people too, you fucking dumbass. Because you're just talking about yourself, even though you're not. And let's also be honest, anytime you say that around any other black people, they're giving you the Pelosi clap. I mean, they're sitting back and like, oh, yay, oh, look, you, you said something, yay. And it's the longest eye roll in the fucking world. So stop pretending like people are thinking, wow, you're, you're this ally that goes along with them, because that's fucking stupid too. Suppression of white people, white males, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there is this, this, when colleges can block white people, when they can be taught to children that are going to those schools, because let's be honest, even though they're college kids, they are still technically children when you see how they act out in this world. It's teaching them that discrimination towards certain people is okay. It's like uh, that Colin Kaepernick guy. When the oppression is the right kind, nobody seems to give a shit. Like the police treating black people badly. That's why Kaepernick was putting his knee on the ground and he was kneeling during the, the you know, national anthem, which is fine. I totally understand that. But then he does an ad for Nike, which is a company that's known for its, its human rights abuses against the people that are building all of their shoes right now. I mean, so... It's like the oppression is okay as long as it's the right oppression, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, this woman should not be able to to yell all of these things across the room and point her finger at, you know, no, you, you've you never lived in an oppressed system, so you don't know what that's like besides sitting at that table and being oppressed at that very fucking moment. But this idiot has no idea what the hell she's doing anyways. Probably only got the job because of diversity. But whatever, that's a whole other conversation, which I actually did a video about the whole how diversity can actually kill people, depending on the job they're in. I mean, you want to diversify librarians, whatever. But when it comes down to police and obviously Congress people and trustees and whatever, you don't want to diversify those jobs. You want just the best people for the jobs. People should not be able to just summarily dump on a white male because you believe somehow their life has been awesome when all I see is people who went to school worked hard for the life that they have work hard for their families I mean one of the guys is a mayor he's he, he's not even from America and she's talking to him like he's too white to be speaking up I mean what in the hell kind of world are we living in right now where these people need to be stopped in their tracks People like me and everybody else need to stop worrying about what someone may or may not say about us because we happen to want to speak the truth. When you're dealing with this type of prejudice towards white people, and especially white males, which seems to be just this great thing that people do, which I honestly have no idea what in the hell is going on when it comes to that kind of thing, but it it's perfectly fine to do something like that, but then when these males recoil and don't want to hire people based on Me Too and all these other kind of things, then they're called sexist. But then they're called, their opinion doesn't matter, right there in public. It's an annoying thing to have to deal with because of past transgressions that other people did. It had nothing to do with me, it had nothing to do with that guy Whatever that lady was feeling and how she wants to yell across the table saying, you've never lived in an oppressed system. Well, yeah, because this system is something that has been built from the ground up. I mean, people call it a privileged system, but it's not privileged. It's worked on. There's a difference. It's called perseverance, not privilege. If you like what I said, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what I said, please give me a thumbs down, but at least leave a comment so I can maybe change your mind. Thank you very much. Have you ever heard the expression, Chucky or not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, welcome, like. Fuck you!